those the three degrees and they will be at the Bonfield Theatre uh, late this month part of Vibraphonic and I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to push out hash Vibraphonic as a, a tag on Twitter and so forth it's, it's going alright there is a, a a playlist as well uh, which you can find on, on YouTube and I'm trying to get it to move over into Facebook I had a, had a conversation on the Wild Show last week and they thought that hashtags were only on Twitter, but I'm I'm sure they work on Facebook as well and maybe some other places. So I think hash hash vibraphonic is is something to to keep going with, and I'll I'll, I'll come back to that later on. Um, there's also the hash wonderful women sing, which which did work really really well. Um, they they promoted it a lot, and I think there's a lot of a lot of social media around that event. And also around the the videos and um, bits of sound that are coming out gradually over time. There's there's some sound being done by John Wigsell, who edited together uh, two streams. He recorded from the desk and also from the room. And uh, I I'm not sure when when they're supposed to be broadcast, but I'm going to broadcast some of them uh, during this show, and then just see what what uh, what the response is. There's several tracks already on on the playlist that I have videoed with with John's help. So we have got two cameras in some of them. We're, we're, they're not they're not fantastic videos, but they, they there was a tripod involved. They're, they're okay, and I think we're gradually getting towards a basis of doing video around phonic benefit events, and it, it could get better organised in in the future if we demonstrate there's there's a bit of response to it and it helps to promote the next one or. The, the performers benefit from it in ver- various ways. That's what we're, we're we're trying to get at. And um, just coming back to the gadget show, the YouTube meet and greet stand. I don't know anything about it other than seeing it on the floor plan. So we will go there and try and find out what's going on. There is something called YouTube Red, which allows people to subscribe to YouTube and avoid all the advertising. And the people who create the video get uh, some part of that income so it's a sort of alternative to having lots of advertising all over the place and I think that's that's something we, we should be looking into because the production levels of video that I'm aware of are, are not very good, I mean it, it sort of works it records the performance, the sound can be reasonable but obviously we, we could do a lot better with the videos uh, given a bit of budget and maybe YouTube Red is one way of doing that, but it's only available in the United States at the moment. There's no there's no announced plan to make it available in the UK. And uh, John and I tried to talk to Google at BET, and they said, "Oh, we know nothing about it. You would have to ask YouTube. How would Google know?" So that was all a bit strange. But um, if there is if there is a YouTube stand at the Gadget Show Live. I think somebody's going to ask them the question. We'll 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 try and find out what's going on, and try and get a bit more discussion in Exeter. Maybe different people. Um, there's reggae videos as well. We've got bits and pieces we haven't properly edited together because uh, we're not quite sure what to do with them. But diff- any any opinions people have got, uh, our Twitter feed, as I said, is W E N O T N O. So any 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 ideas about uh, how video fits together or sound or social media whatever I, I think if we get get our ideas clarified a bit before we go to gadget show live uh we might find find out something when we get there 